here is another skin. You can see the epidermis. You could see the dermis. You could see some skin appendages. You can see the subcutaneous fat. And what you can also see, half of which is in the subcutaneous fat and half of which is in the deep or reticular dermis, is a very specific, well-defined collection of cells, which we will soon see are 99% uh, neutrophils. This is an abscess by all the classical definitions. It's a single abscess. Uh, it's a boil. A furuncle is nothing but a boil. Here's another abscess. Here's another abscess. Sometimes the word furuncle and caruncle are used interchangeably. And quite frankly, I never knew the difference until recently, until I had to look it up because I have to teach it. So uh, technically, if a couple of furuncles coalesce and perhaps have... Uh, even separate sinus tracts, then you could call that a caruncle. So a caruncle is a coalescence of fur uncles, and both are nothing more than abscesses within the skin and a subcutaneous fat. They may send a sinus tract or an opening uh, to the skin, and they are caused by a wide variety of conditions. Uh, most uh, likely staph and strep 90% of the time. And they're more common in people that are more susceptible to staph and strep infections, uh, including diabetics. This is your classic textbook, drop dead, slam dunk, easy, beautiful, furuncle. Thank you very much.